more than a poem for Nina Simone. At age three, she began to handle piano keys. In 1955, she was denied acceptance into college when she applied. It was due to segregation, America's apartheid. But despite all the hatred to the school of Juilliard, she made it. On her track, Mississippi, goddamn, she lets you know life is risky for a black man. This is more than a poem about Nina Simone. She's a revolutionary with the microphone. When she sung, she hit America like a cyclone. Her beautiful thick lips spit sober linguistics. If you missed it, go to the store and cop a disc quick. Huh, cop a disc quick. Her song, Send a Man, felt my soul like then the fam. Her songs provided info on legislation, such as Jim Crow and segregation. It's crazy though, her songs will get played on the radio, but she's in Portland still. She inspired Erica Badu and Laura Hill. Some say Nina's demeanor was meaner than the average senorita, but that's because America didn't treat her with respect. So she chose to reflect the fact that it's a blessing to be young, gifted, and black. No, she didn't have master fits, but she was a singer, songwriter, pianist, arranger, civil rights activist. The high priest is the soul with a distinctive flow. Rather jazz, blue soul, folk, R&B, gospel, pop. Her music made the world rock. She is a genius, I mean this. And if you don't believe me, ask Common and Wheezy. And if you still wonder if she's good, they both sampled the song, don't let me be misunderstood. This is true, like no fable. Her husband and the record label showed no loyalty when they swindled her out of her royalties. Life was too short to boo boo. If you don't love Lena Simone, she put a spell on you. She was a revolutionary, still inspires us to get strong. Thankfully, she lives to artists like India Ari. Yes, she lives on. Peace.